Here's a little surprise for everybody. Former House Speaker John Boehner is now lobbying for medical marijuana. So uh, a Gallup poll, they, they say this right here, from October shows that 64% of Americans favor making marijuana legal. 64, that's the highest number I've seen yet. That's a super duper strong majority. So why is he doing it? That's the next logical question. Well, the answer is money. Because he now sits on the advisory board of Acreage Holdings, which is a weed company that cultivates, processes, and dispenses marijuana in 11 states. So now that he can make some money from it, all of a sudden he's seen the light. He's had a come-to-Jesus moment. Now, ultimately, listen, we'll take it where we can get it. Any politician, no matter what the fucking reasoning is, moving to the right position, okay, it's better than you not moving to the right position. So take it for what it is. But at the same time, Here's why he's a scumbag. 420,000 people were arrested for selling marijuana while John Boehner ran, ran Congress. 420,000 people. Lives ruined. For nothing. For nothing. For the functional equivalent of buying, you know, some beer on the weekend. That's it. That's what that is. 420,000 people arrested while John Boehner ran Congress. See, you know, this is the thing, and this happens time and time again. It happened with Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, when he left office, he said, oh, probably should be legalized. And, you know, the response at the time, Bill Maher pointed this out. He said, oh, well, if only you had a position of power, then maybe you could have done something. And that's the frustrating thing, is these are the kinds of people that we're fucking dealing with. Pe people who are so insulated from the struggles of regular people who have to deal with this garbage on a daily basis. Over-policed communities, lives ruined for non-violent drug offenses, whether selling or using, and try getting a job after you get out of prison on a drug charge. Just try. See how that works out for you. So, you pull the rug out from underneath regular people, because you know all these assholes tried drugs when they were younger. Obama admitted it. Bush admitted it. Clinton admitted it. You know they all fucking tried drugs. If they got caught, they would have never been able to be president. So, but instead of having... Looking at that situation and having sympathy and empathy and saying, Wow, this is really fucked up. They just kept going the status quo, business as usual. And, um... Now when it's convenient for them because they get to make some money, now all of a sudden, oh yes, legalize it. What was I thinking when I ruined so many lives that I still don't give a fuck about? See, here's the thing. He's not even for legalizing it yet, even though he's on the board of this fucking thing. He's for medical marijuana. Oh, wow. Congratulations. You fucking evolved to the position that, uh, you know, made sense in 1958. Wonderful. Good for you. 64% say legalize it. And he's like, okay, I've grown. I've evolved. Medical marijuana. It's a fundamentally different value structure, man. Or if for them, it's a lack of values. Because it really doesn't take much thought to sit down and figure this out, that that's a really fucked up thing to do. It's to ruin somebody's... Even if you think smoking marijuana is wrong, you know what would be a much, much bigger wrong? Ruining somebody's life because they smoke marijuana. Way worse. Way worse. In that instance... The criminal justice system, effectively, are the criminals. That's what that is. They are the ones acting like criminals. So, that it's just fucking infuriating. It's infuriating. We jail more people in this country than any other country on Earth. I, we covered a study from a few weeks ago that, what, what did it say, like 39% of people in prison right now could just be released. 39%. They just be released because they didn't really do anything wrong. What they did is not really a crime, like a nonviolent drug offense. So, uh, legalize, tax, and regulate it. You'll have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of jobs created. You'll have billions of dollars of tax revenue created. The drug cartels will be absolutely obliterated and free every single nonviolent drug offender and wipe their record clean.